Definitely not the button. This gas away. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to take another potion. I don't want to use them all up, but. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Blood, blood. Oh, hey. Looks like I just wasted a potion. Okay, what is that? That is nothing good, is what that is. Oh, let's do it. What's up, you creepy ass mother? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh 
Oh gosh, come on. I need to get back and heal some. Uh. Crap, crap, crap! You know what? I've got these nifty swallow potions here. Why don't I try one? Blug, blug. Come on, you blarmy bastard. Oh, gosh. There's just no indication as to when he's going to attack. Ow. Dick. That's not flattering. Monster eye, hair, tongue. Ekimara. Oh, if that is a nasty thing. And take us another swallow. Hopefully that'll take care of all the health I lost. Oh, hello. The Slaughter of Sintra. That sounds familiar. Really, that's all. Is it any good? Of course not. <laughs> the Slaughter of Sintra. The cavalcade of riders pounded across the blood-soaked courtyard. They looked at no one and asked no questions. They knew exactly where they were going and why, to kill the old queen and capture the Sintrin princess. As to what would become of her after that, no one would say. Kalanth and a group of her most loyal subjects had barricaded themselves inside the castle. They were protected by stone walls and a gate sealed by a spell. But they all realized neither would last long against a concentrated assault by the Nilfgaardian army and the mages supporting it. After four days, enemy soldiers forced their way inside. Okay... Gosh, I'm gonna have to take another cat potion soon. <laughs> I feel like there should be a... Hello. Oh, hello. Yes, please. Olive. <laughs> Witcher George. Having heard rumors of a dragon, I raced at full speed to Velen. Sadly, I was dragged away from my hunt by the prefix of Gore? Gore's Velen. They summoned me as an expert to solve the riddle of a string of shipwrecks suspected to be the work of night wraiths. Hmm. Seems a dragon ravaging the countryside is a lower priority than blocked trade routes. Luckily, I was able to solve the riddle of the lone lighthouse quickly and raced off after the dragon. I learned that the peasants from the ravaged villages had taken shelter in the elven catacombs under Lake Windamer. Windamer? Windamer? Wise. Yet they were not wise enough to bring firewood, and so warmed themselves by burning elven manuscripts. Well, it aches my heart to think what knowledge about the alder, alder folk went up in those flames. At least a few of the manuscripts survived, including some highly interesting sketches of armor. Yet enough about that. Eyewitnesses have reported. Ashen scales, height at haunches, 2 fathoms, length 5 fathoms, addendum, estimated weight approximately 14 quintals. These measurements mean nothing to me. Able to maintain a high temperature in its bellows, dragon lungs, for longer than a quarter hour. Conclusion, we are dealing with a green dragon. Commencing hunt. Okay. Alright, the talisman. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually a thing I have to worry about. And there goes the cat. Let's 
take a look at that, uh, that griffin stuff. Where's my crafting tab? Oh gosh, I need to be a higher level for it. It's medium. Yeah, wow. It's definitely better than what I got. And goodness, even once I am high enough level for it, which won't be long. I may or may not even have enough stuff to craft all of it. Monster Eye. Meteorite Silver Plate. Gosh, where do I get that? Why in the world would I need a shirt? Meteorite Silver Plate. Well, I did have that Meteorite Silver Ingot. But hell, I'm guessing I would have needed more than one anyway to make it. Powdered monster tissue, what? Eh, yeah, who knows if I'll ever actually be able to make all that. Oh, right. Almost forgot. Vampires. Echimaras. Oh yeah, it is kind of like a bat thing, isn't it? Devil's Puffball, Vampire Oil, and Igni. Oh, well, gee, if I would have known. But ain't nothing to fear. Ike Mara's why they ain't nothing more than overgrown bats. Anonymous City Guardsman's last words. Like other vampires, Ike Mara's are not, despite what villager, village gossips might say, undead humans. They are instead post-conjunction monsters who have no particular feelings about garlic, holy water, or religious symbols. <laughs> Unlike their portrayals in ballads and legends, they look nothing like handsome, pale aristocrats with charming eastern accents. Though like katakans or nekarats, they do bear a strong resemblance to overgrown bats. They also do not suck blood from the necks of virgins with a delicate kiss-like bite. They tear them to shreds using long, sharp claws and then slurp the splattered blood off the ground. Lovely. So, uh huh, could have been using Igni on him. But I did need to use the, uh, the, 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 Erden to keep him grounded enough to hit, right? Oh gosh, I don't like how little ahead of me I can see. That's not Witcher George, is it? Is that a bomb? Huh. Well, I have grape shot. Did not work, did it? What other bombs do I have? Excuse me? Come again? Oh, that didn't work. Let's try the grape shot one more time. Maybe I didn't aim it right. Alright, the crossbow. I hate to waste them, but... 